Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now before this video starts I just want to say sorry that I haven't been posting many full length videos and I haven't been posting many mod reviews in general and we're back at it again with something interesting. Now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you the mod that I will be reviewing today in 3, 2, 1. Okay, up. This is the Abishu Serenity. And this mod is made by Neket, who is a very good mod creator, as you can see here. And, uh, right off the bat, it does kind of look like the old Abishu Pessima Zenith from the KLJP pack. But aside from that, it's a lot more luxury, I will say that. It's got some openable things, like this trunk here, which opens pretty nice, actually. The front door is open as well. And I'm pretty sure the back ones do. Okay, I guess they just don't open very good. Um, anyways, let's hop in and let's start it up. I'm not sure if the hood opens or not. I couldn't find a thing to open it with. Anyways, let's go in the car and let's check out the interior. It's got a detailed steering wheel. It's, there's a nice touch of clock over there. And if we look in the back, there's some nice seats. The interior is very detailed. I mean, just look at all these buttons. They've got all the logos. And let's give it a start. Hmm. That sounds nice. It's got like a... Like the Gavril turnover, I think, but I'm pretty sure these are original engine sounds. I've, I've never heard this before. It sounds really nice. Uh, anyways, let's do a test drive. I've got the EX out right now, 3.0. It's pretty good with driving as well, I'll say. Let's rip open the hood and see what's under it. Mmm, it's a nice big engine. It's also animated, which is nice. Considering this is a three liter, it's, uh, it's a pretty big engine. And yeah, uh, let's go to Downhill Madness on the crash hard map. Alright, so we're in the Abishu Serenity on Downhill Madness, but before we do the Downhill Madness test, let's honk the horn and let's play with the lights. Alright, 
Alright, all the lights seem to be functional. That's always good. Alright, let's start the downhill madness test. Three, two, one. So far, so good. Perfectly. Oh my gosh, the brakes are already made. Stepped on the way through seconds. That's a problem with this, it's just too fast. It's time to do the other test we do on this map. In this one, we'll probably be able to see the damage model since this isn't really a great off road car. It's more like a Japanese luxury car, kind of like Toyota Century. This is a cliff diving test, by the way. That's one. That's two. The car kind of bent a little. Whoa. Three. Four. Oh, no. Oh, no. Five. Six. Holy moly, this is doing really good. Seven. still works. Oh, it's just died. Time to try to turn it back on. So I've tried turning it on a whole bunch of times, but I, I couldn't get it to start for some reason. You can see the engine, it's like, it's touching the ground. The drive shaft as well. It's a very detailed car. And the, the damage model is actually pretty good. Overall, I rate this car an 8 out of 10. It's really good. It has 13 configurations. That's an alright amount, but I feel like there could be a little more, like maybe a drift one. For the last part of the test, let's just absolutely destroy it with full strength, 100% force. First, we flip it over. <laughs> The door is still like doing that. What the heck is the trunk doing? Can I still. <laughs> uh. Um. Uh, yep. That's the Abishu Serenity. Amazing car. It's been long awaited. And I will see you in another video. Goodbye.